I'm doing a product review on B Wine's drone. It is a 4K drone. You know, the box that's the uh, F7 GB2. The box that it comes in is pretty slick looking. It looks sleek, man. Nice looking box. Uh, there's no drone in here. I've already taken it out and I've already flown it around a little bit. So, uh, the, but the box is, uh, seriously, the box is a work of art. I got to hand it to them. It looks awesome. All right, box looks great. Get that gone. So the drone comes in this really cool bag, a nice adjustable strap. This comes in this, this very nice carrying bag. Excuse that. That's, uh, I just had it out. So it has pockets in the front pockets on the side it's a very nice leather very nice stitched bag has it's a double zipper so nice big zipper nice place to grab it and zip and then you have this little area right here it comes and it sits and it has a nice little has a nice little padding on it right here to help the top. I know, right? It's so dirty, but I just came back from the beach flying it around. Uh, inside here is where your controller will go. Inside here where your drone goes. And then it has another little fold away place down here, compartment where you can put your extra batteries and your extra propellers, which it does come with. But I am digging this bag. This is, this kind of bag is what you kind of normally see on like higher end camera bags. So great that this is included it's not like you have to go out and go buy a a, um, a separate carrying bag for your drone so i'm very very happy that they included this in the drone all right all right so the, here, this is what's in the box this is what comes in the box you have a couple of cables it is us usb to type c so that's couple of cables for charging your drone and charging your or charging your controller and charging your battery so a couple of cables that's great also comes with a couple of extra blades these are um what do they call them they call them level six wind resistant blades so level six just means that it's going to be a little quieter and a little quicker so you have a b blade and an a blade so a couple extra blades that's great that they throw that in there because if you ever flow a drone before you know that the blades can take a little bit of damage here's the drone and here's the controller that comes with it the controller is pretty easy pretty easy concept it folds out like that with your antennas this folds out for your screen to place your phone right here uh, and uh, these fold out like so and it gives pretty decent reading on here you know i mean it tells you when it's connected it tells you when you know, the power's on it tells you your distance your flight so it has a pretty good interface right here that tells you your speed gives you all your information right here it would also do it on it would also do it on the app let me get my app up uh there's also a pretty cool tutorial on your app where you can do and it'll, where you can play and it'll show you how to fly your drone and give you some safety stuff but on your app on your controller you have all the information of course it's not connecting let's get out of there but you have all the information on your drone as well so pretty cool interface it feels really good in the hand it doesn't feel cheaply made this will could can, let me turn this off because the beep in and get on my nerves so you have two analog sticks this one you know there i've flown several drones and they're all kind of the same the right the analog stick is going to fly what direction you want to go in and this one is going to push your altitude up altitude down and this will also direct which way you want your camera facing now right here is for your camera and right here is for your video so and these little dials will adjust to your camera uh, up or down for your video and this will adjust your camera for shooting when you're taking your picture and i believe zooming in and out but um 
pretty cool, pretty sweet. I, I love this. This controller feels great. There's your your plug in there. Uh, flying it around a little bit, and my son flew it around a little bit as well. So very easy, easy peasy for great for beginner. This is a great beginner drone. All right. So it is FAA compliant. We're gonna take this off. This is a little safety thing right there for your blades. You also have an additional one right here for your camera. Ooh, for your camera. So we're gonna be real careful with that. And this is a three axis gimbal. So you can see that it kind of tries to stay in place there and uh, stay true. This is a GPS drone. So let's push this out. Takes a little doing there. Push this out, takes a little doing. And if I fail to mention, what else was in the box was a couple of batteries. So you get uh, two batteries. Here's one right here. And the other one is, um, the other one we have to bring in. But there he goes, you get two batteries. Good to go right there. All right, so this is the drone itself. You have the power button back here. And then you also have the U, uh, the, um, you also have the type c for your charge all right so when you first get in it's gonna have the charger for six six and a half hours so make sure you do that it has five times digital zoom the flight time for each one of these batteries is about 25 minutes and and that's been true it's held true to that so uh, you have two batteries so you can get about 50 minutes time uh, level six blades and these blades and let me tell you if you're standing around anywhere around these blades when these blades are booming whew, you can feel that wind you sure can let me tell you that is the truth uh, 10 foot long range transmission GPS 4k it also features a auto return. You can also drop some waypoints. Uh, I will mention that I tried to do, you select the object and it will t track you and follow you. I couldn't get it to find the object. I was trying, trying to get my son, trying to get it to follow my son. I couldn't get it to, to do that. I did the GPS follow and it did follow me while I was holding the controller. So it did follow me and, and keep the, kept the distance. So just keep that in mind. Um, this drone it weighs for about like 4.88 pounds so it's not the lightest drone but it's not heavy a heavy heavy drone either so it's it's pretty great and it works based on wi-fi and when you have the app on it will connect to your wi-fi uh probably takes like a couple minutes the one thing that i would mention is right here is where your sd card goes in here your SD card goes in here, and I will mention that make sure you format your SD card before you go out, okay? Don't try to do it on the fly because I thought I formatted my SD card. I did not. The first time I went out, uh, I didn't record anything with the drone. I recorded it on my phone, but I didn't record it with the drone. And when it records to your phone, it doesn't record in the 4K. With your drone, it will record in 4K. But yeah, let's 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 head to that footage and let's check some of that flight stuff out. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Out here, Galveston. It's Memorial Day, and uh, so I came out here a little early. Think I'll get a little bit of sunrise bite, but um, or a little bit of sunrise action. But these pretty cloudy. You know, the water's dirty, cloudy. I'm not. Uh, fishing today what I'm doing is doing a test flight of this new drone now I've done the test the test flight from this for this Boeing drone the other day and the issue was with the SD card the SD card said it was formatting then the screen went away where it showed that it was I thought it was done formatting but it wasn't done formatting so when I test drove it and flew it around for the first time it didn't record anything to the SD card that was in the drone uh, it recorded to my phone but that wasn't recorded in 4k so i wanted to come back out today and redo that flight again the issue that i saw and it's been like almost a week or probably over a week but that was because the wind has been so high so bad it's been over 20 to over 20 mile an hour winds out here in the in the in the gulf so on the coast but one of the things that i noticed when it was blowing probably like 17 maybe gusting close to 20 but probably like 17 was that the camera with the gimbal would tilt up 
and it will never write itself. Uh, it is a three axis gimbal, so it will never write itself. No matter how I controlled and what I did with the camera to raise it up and lower down, it would get stuck after I probably went like about 15 feet in the air or so. So that was the first thing that I noticed about the drone. But the drone handled pretty well. I wasn't uh, disappointed at all in the action of the drone. Even the footage that it recorded to my phone, which was not recorded in 4K. So if you don't have the SD card formatted, it was still recording your phone. And uh, it did that just from it did that for me. And it just wasn't 4K. So I wanted to come out and test out the 4K capability. And uh, you can you can you judge that and see if it's worth uh, the quality is worth it for you guys. But I'm gonna get everything hooked up, get my phone hooked up, get everything attached, and uh, I believe my son is uh, is gonna do the cameraman work for me too. So he's over there. Um, look how rough it is, pretty rough out here. We have one guy that's trying to weight fish. He's weight fishing the first gut right here. Somebody else over here fishing too. But this beach is gonna be packed. It is a Memorial Day. So there's going to be a lot of people on the island today. So let's get going. Let's get flying. Thanks for tuning in. But the first thing I got to do is I got to turn this around, this gimbal around right here. I'm going to try to do it on this board. So it's the first time I'm doing it. So I got to turn it around this way. And then I got to turn it this way, which is like more like an old school style of drone. You got to do this. The thing is, you got to do this like every time you fly. So it's still not registering, so let me, oh, there it is. So let me see if I can land, take it off from here because you need a, a flat surface. So let's see if this flat surface is good enough. All right, so we're gonna start recording. Yeah, a little icon to take you. So we are recording, so I'm gonna try to take off. So get a shot of this actually taking off. You can adjust the angle of that. Yeah, there you go. Step back a little bit more. There you go. Because it might, once it gets up, it might move to the left or the right, you know? Yeah. So taking this, we're going to start just taking off. Take off. Left, right, forward, backwards. That's all on the right stick. We're going to turn. Go up a little higher. I almost got you, Chris. That happens. All right, so now we're gonna take off a look. controlling just fine it's a little it, it when it comes down it comes down a little slow which is good but you want to keep that in mind in case you are like very high up and you're running out of power out of battery so i'm going to just take it down the shoreline and just kind of see we have someone flying the flying their kite so i gotta watch out for that but we're just going to take it down the shore just a little bit and see what we can see how we can go it's pretty hazy today so it doesn't really get the effect and the look that I really wanted. And we're early in the morning, like sunrise probably like half an hour ago. So you don't get really that clear view from, from the sun. But um, as you can see here, you can see it's pretty clear on your phone what you're looking at. We're gonna pan out a little bit and kind of face I mean, the ocean. It looks like you're recording this. Not yeah. Not at all, it's really good. Yeah, so you can pan out a little bit. There's a little dog in the water there, someone playing with their dog. We're gonna turn back around and come back. It's a little choppy, it's a little staticky, a little glitchy. So I'm gonna start flying back down towards towards us. It's kinda of foggy outside though, but, yeah, but something to keep in mind. I can feel like the air right here underneath the drone. You can feel like the you can feel like the breeze right here underneath the drone. Oh right? Yeah. Alright. So go ahead and push the push it and then it asks you if you want to land it. Oh no, it's not gonna make it. It might make it. It'll make it. <laughs> I don't recommend doing this landing this from a boogie board at all. 
but you want a flat surface so i was going to bring like a mat out to land it but i, I didn't I, I forgot it so so yeah we, we got a boogie board right so when in doubt you use the boogie board all right don't don't push no buttons on it let me pick it up all right, I just stopped it. yeah so chris i have the mic on me so you got to get close to me oh all right okay all right, let me it. all right so what do you uh what are, you, what are your thoughts first time flying a drone like this? What do you think? It was really good, actually. The controls is good, but, you know, uh, the wind sometimes might, like, knock it off a little bit. But, you know, that a, a lot of drones do that. But yeah. it's it's a really good drone. And then the camera quality is actually really good. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's kind of up, up for you guys. to kind of, you know, it's kind of up to you to determine whether you think this is good enough, you know, 4K quality for the price point. I think so. You know, um, even from watching the footage on my phone and not being in 4K, when I was watching the footage on my phone um, from last test flight, uh, I didn't I didn't think it was at all a bad idea. And I'm giving an honest review. I'm not paid by them. They're not sponsoring me in any kind of way. Bowen's not sponsoring me in any kind of way. Uh, they asked me if I would do a review for the product review of the drone. And I said, absolutely, I'll do a product review for the drone. And, uh, yeah, I definitely would recommend buying one. And, uh, yeah, this drone is actually going to that young man. I'm yeah. donating it to Christopher. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, we hopefully, hopefully all this isn't a fit in one video, but we have one more scenery, scenery shot we want to shoot. So we're going to head out and uh, go shoot that real fast and kind of see how it handles away from direct wind contact, away from direct wind from the coast in more of a, a little protected more little protected area um yeah so let's let's back up and let's get going oh wait unless you want a boogie board do you want a boogie board there is a boogie board there's another one yeah oh look there's another one. Oh my god all right go go boogie board well i'm sure <laughs> do you want a boogie board yeah all right well there's the ocean there's a board go boogie board yeah 